their healthcare system is so different from ours and it's kind of better than ours. I thought that was really interesting. And that was really surprising. Moore traveled to Cuba in a winter term course to learn about the country's healthcare system. DePaul collaborated with Hendricks Regional Health and Mexico Solidarity Network on the program. As part of the connection between our two institutions, Hendricks thought it would be a great idea to put together a program that highlighted medical education specifically in uh, Cuba, especially because Cuba has such a well-known public health program. We would go to this University of Social Sciences every day and we would take a class on a certain topic. Um, so one of the topics was aging, the aging population in Cuba. One of them was natural versus uh, modern medicine. We would take a class every morning and then we would go to an institute in the afternoon. Site visits included an adult daycare and the Latin American School of Medicine. It was like interesting to see how much, I guess, like respect they had for their system. And like not that doctors here don't have that respect, it's just that like doctors here want to like change the system always, but there, they're, they just accept it and it's like this is how it is and this is how I like it and this works out for the better of everyone and it's just really cool. In Cuba you really know that the people that are doctors really want to help. The group also visited a biotech firm producing medicines and vaccinations. They decided that they really needed to get on board with biotech to, and to make sure that they were producing top scientists and top research in order to help eradicate diseases. You learn about all these like vaccines, these breakthroughs that they have that haven't occurred in the U.S. because they patent them, obviously, like any company or country would. But because like all the world in the U.S. isn't really open to trade with Cuba, they can't help the world out. Students also had homestays living with Cuban families to learn about the nation's people and culture. When I was taught growing up, like we don't have a good relationship with Cuba. But when I got there, it's actually like they don't take it to an individual level and they're very welcoming. They really want people from the United States to come there. They really want us to like interact with them. They want to have a good relationship with us and people were willing to help. I was able to practice my Spanish, which was a good thing. And we talked and I asked her about her family and things like that. And also when we would go out into the town, the people that lived there would be so helpful and ask us if we needed any help to find the place that we were trying to go to. Participants found the experience memorable. It's increased my my want to learn more about medical systems in other countries, especially developing countries. This has been more of like trying to be community orient oriented in whatever community I'm living in, because a lot of the people there, they just kept reiterating like, I want like the things I do are for the better of my community and my family and the like those people around me. For DePaul University, with videographer Xavier Camacho, I'm Austin Arceo.